Double row, knotless rotator cuff repair featuring the Footprint Ultra PK Suture Anchor with Ultra Tape Suture and the TruePass Suture Passer. In this Smith & Nephew rotator cuff repair technique animation, the knotless repair of a crescent-shaped tear in the supraspinatus tendon will be demonstrated. This repair will utilize Ultra Tape, a flat, uniformly woven suture tape designed to increase tendon-to-bone contact, the Footprint Ultra PK Suture Anchor with interlocking screw technology, and the TruePass Self-Capture Suture Passer, which simultaneously passes and retrieves suture and ultra tape. This technique is achieved by using the following portals, anterior, lateral, and posterior. Visualization during the repair steps is accomplished through the posterior viewing portal, while a superior lateral portal is used for placing the medial anchors. In preparation, a bursectomy is performed, and the mobility and nature of the tear are assessed. This double row repair will utilize four footprint Ultra PK suture anchors, two medially and two laterally. Prior to starting the repair, the two footprint Ultra PK suture anchors to be used in the medial location of the greater tuberosity are preloaded with Ultra Tape, releasing the looped suture from the threader tab. Thread one limb of Ultra Tape through the loop and pull through the anchor eyelet. Ensuring both limbs of Ultra Tape are of equal length, fix them over the cleats on the inserter handle. At this point, the green stay suture is removed and discarded. Rotate the knob clockwise until a loud click is heard. This click is to acknowledge that the interlocking screw has deployed and the Ultra Tape is locked internally in the anchor. Now rotate the inserter knob one quarter turn counterclockwise. This allows for easier separation of the anchor from the inserter. The second footprint Ultra PK suture anchor is ready to be loaded in exactly the same way. Before inserting the first footprint Ultra suture anchor, place the 3.8 millimeter gold tapered awl through the superior lateral portal and create the necessary pilot hole in the anterior medial aspect of the greater tuberosity by tapping the awl down to the black laser line. Remove the awl from the shoulder. Introduce the footprint Ultra PK suture anchor through the superior lateral portal, aligning the eyelet parallel to the rotator cuff tendon. Using a mallet, Tap the anchor into the pilot hole, ensuring that the black laser line is flush with the bone. Remove the two limbs of Ultra Tape from the cleats on the inserter handle and remove the inserter. Repeat the previous step and place a second footprint Ultra PK suture anchor in the posterior medial aspect of the greater tuberosity. Using a suture loop grasper, retrieve one limb of Ultra Tape from the anterior medial anchor and pull it out through the lateral cannula. Outside of the joint, load the limb of Ultra Tape into the lower jaw of the TruePass Self Capture Suture Passer. Close the jaws of the instrument and pass it down the lateral cannula. Positioning the jaws of the TruePass Suture Passer on the anterior medial aspect of the tendon, actuate the device by squeezing and releasing the rear handle to pass and retrieve the Ultra Tape in one motion. The Ultra Tape will remain caught in the self capture door in the upper jaw. Close the jaws of the True Pass Suture Passer and withdraw the device back out of the lateral cannula. The Ultra Tape is easily unloaded from the True Pass Suture Passer by pulling it out of the small window on the right hand side of the upper jaw of the instrument. Park the passed limb of Ultra Tape out of the anterior cannula. Using the Suture Loop Grasper, retrieve the second limb of Ultra Tape from the anterior medial footprint Ultra PK Suture Anchor and in the same way, pull it back out through the lateral cannula. Again, using the True Pass Suture Passer, pass the Ultra Tape anterior medially through the tendon adjacent to the first passed suture limb. End this passing and retrieving sequence with the Ultra Tape exiting out of the anterior cannula. Repeat the previous two steps working in an anterior to posterior direction. All sutures should now be passed and exiting out of the anterior cannula.
using the Dionics Radio Frequency S Whirlwind 90 degree probe down the lateral cannula. Mark on the lateral aspect of the greater tuberosity the two points where the lateral footprint ultra PK suture anchors are to be placed. Using the suture loop grasper down the lateral cannula, retrieve the most anterior limb of ultra tape from each of the medial placed footprint ultra PK suture anchors. Bring these two limbs back out of the lateral cannula. Thread both limbs of ultra tape through the inserter threader tab and then pull through the eyelet of a footprint ultra PK suture anchor. Clamp a hemostat over the threaded limbs to hold them in place while a pilot hole is created. Introduce the gold tapered awl into the lateral cannula and create a pilot hole on the anterior lateral aspect of the greater tuberosity using the radio frequency marks to guide placement. Tap to ensure the black laser line on the awl is flush with the bone. Remove the awl. Remove the hemostat. And taking up a small amount of slack from the ultra tape limbs, introduce the footprint ultra PK suture anchor into the lateral cannula, taking care not to twist the sutures. Position the anchor over the prepared pilot hole. Align the eyelet so that it faces the tendon where the suture limbs enter the anchor. Using a mallet, tap the footprint ultra PK suture anchor into the pilot hole, ensuring that the black laser line is flush with the bone. Release the green stay suture from the inserter cleats, slide out of the footprint ultra PK anchor, and discard. Maintain light downward pressure on the anchor inserter while individually tensioning the limbs of ultra tape through the footprint ultra PK suture anchor until desired repair tension is achieved. Keeping light downward pressure on the inserter, rotate the inserter knob clockwise to deploy the interlocking screw. Rotate until a loud click can be heard. Now rotate the inserter knob one quarter turn counterclockwise. This allows for easier separation of the anchor from the inserter. Remove the inserter. Using the Smith & Nephew suture cutter, cut the excess limbs of ultra tape flush to the footprint ultra PK suture anchor. Repeat the previous sequence of steps, locking the remaining free limbs of ultra tape into a second footprint ultra PK suture anchor to complete the repair.